If you came to me with that trailer, I would probably tell you to get a half ton to tow it. But the truth of the matter is, mid-sized trucks have become so capable and small trucks can tow big trailers. Now that is exactly what Honda is trying to prove with its 2017 Ridgeline. So when it comes to hooking up a trailer to the Ridgeline, it's pretty much standard fare. Now, as you crank it down, especially if you have a trailer as heavy as our big snowmobile trailer here, the multi-link rear suspension of this truck does squat quite a bit. When it comes to the safety chain hookups, they're totally fine and plenty big to fit our chains. The only real complaint I have back here has to do with the lights. The light connection is pretty deep under the bumper, so you gotta get way down here and reach pretty far in just to get your lights hooked up. So now we've got the trailer hitched onto the back and we are really pushing this Ridgeline because that big carrier weighs about 5,000 pounds, which is the max tow rating on this Ridgeline Sport that we have here today. Now, not every Ridgeline can pull 5,000 pounds as two-wheel drive models, and those are front-wheel drive models, are only rated to pull 3,500, but we have all-wheel drive, so we're really pushing this thing to the limit. So let's start with the good and we'll get to the bad. Now probably the best thing about this truck while towing is the dynamics of it. The suspension setup actually controls the weight fairly well. Now despite the fact that it's squatting a bit in the back, the wheel doesn't feel that light in my hands. And when you put your foot deep into the gas pedal, there is almost no torque steer to speak of. Another great feature in this Ridgeline for trailering is the backup camera. Now, of course, it just shows behind you, but there's also a setting to change the view, so it gives you this top-down view on your hitch, which makes it that much easier to perfectly align your hitch with your trailer with no spotter necessary. So dynamically, through corners and while maneuvering, the truck actually feels pretty well sorted with all that weight on the back. But one of the biggest weak points has to be the powertrain. Through a lot of the hills that we've been running on today, this V6 really breathes hard to get that load moving. And going uphill with my foot all the way to the floor, in some cases I'm actually decelerating. Although that's not entirely surprising, considering that this 3.5 liter V6 makes 280 horsepower and just 262 pound-feet of torque. The other glaring weak point on this Ridgeline when you put all that weight on the back is the four-wheel disc brakes. Now, as long as you leave yourself enough space and you're driving calmly, you can get yourself stopped. The issue is emergency stopping. Driving around this week with no weight on the Ridgeline, I have been managing about 19 miles per gallon, which is pretty good and right in line with fuel economy estimates. Now, if you do plan to regularly tow with the Ridgeline, you're gonna need to get mirror extensions, which are not a factory option. But there is one unforeseen benefit to having Honda's lane watch camera. And that is that it will look all the way down the side of your truck and your trailer. So when you're trying to change lanes to the right, you're gonna be able to see anyone in your blind spot. So by now you're wondering why you'd want to get a Ridgeline. It's not that powerful when towing and it doesn't stop that great with the trailer. Plus for about $3,000 less, you can get a Chevrolet Colorado that tows more. But the answer to that question has everything to do with not trailering. While empty, other mid-sized pickups can't come close to the Ridgeline when it comes to on-road comfort and handling. Honestly, this truck just feels like a big Honda Accord, not offering any of that chattery, oversprung feeling that those other mid-sized pickups can give you. So at the end of the day, here's what it comes down to. Will the Ridgeline tow 5,000 pounds? Yes, it will. Will it do it confidently and safely? Mostly. I'd say that the sweet spot for this truck is about 3,500 pounds. If you're towing that weight every day, then go for it. But if you do plan on towing regularly a 5,000 pound trailer, you're probably gonna want a bigger truck. But you have to keep in mind that if you do upgrade, you're gonna be giving up one of the best handling mid-sized trucks on the market.